Welcome to my channel, Narc Delusion. My name is Nicole. On this channel, we focus on all things narcissism. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Topic of this video is about how narcissists haunt your dreams. In my experience, this is a real thing. A fight with a narcissist is spiritual warfare. It's difficult to completely wrap your mind around what narcissists are doing. What about the concept of spiritual warfare? It's a Christian concept that is a fight against the work of evil forces, evil spirits, or demons that interfere in human events. I said to a narcissist that evil people might die early because I have seen that before and the reply was well good people die early too comment below what do you think the narcissist means well good people die early too I just thought that was rather inappropriate Evil spirits or demons that interfere in human events. That is exactly what narcissists are doing. They want to waste your time. They want to waste your energy. They want to steal your things. They have so much bad energy to interfere with other people. It is quite idiotic. It's so negative and it actually defies common sense. Narcissists are obsessive. In fact, narcs hate you so much because you have a lot of influence over them. They feel more and more powerless and that creates within the nonsical narcissist a competition to beat you and win. You didn't even know it, but they are extremely envious. The qualities that they loved in the beginning is the qualities that they will hate you for later. Because they see in you what they are lacking. If you get more attention, they will hate you with a passion. They hate that you can be happy with your life. In the narcissistic relationship, the narcissist is obsessed and constantly thinks about you. The narcissist wants to invade your thoughts, and this includes invading your dreams. The narcissist wants to haunt you day and night. Narcissists are obsessive, and they have a great need to be tethered to you. The narcissist will haunt your dreams to bond with you, and most often, to fight with you. Many of you know that narcs do psychological and psychic warfare. This is serious business. An empath is already sensitive to vibrations, will experience this many times. The dreams are intense and my experience is that these battles are a very real thing. What's your experience? If you've had these dreams and nightmares, please comment below. Don't be surprised. These narcissists are big bullies and they are obsessed with winning and beating you. It's like a horror movie. They are chasing and pursuing you to haunt you. It isn't just a nightmare. Haven't you ever had a dream and the other person had the same one? It's a real thing. These battles are real, and the battles can go either way. The thing is, don't be surprised. The narcissist will assume that you will be caught unaware, and that you are not prepared. In a dream, you can beat the narcissist. You can lose, too. It depends how psychically prepared you are. I had a dream where I punched the narcissist in the face. 
And I also killed a flying monkey. In two different dreams, they came to me to fight. But I was prepared because I am familiar with visitation dreams and nightmares. A visitation dream is usually more than your subconscious mind. It's a merger of ideas from both people. In a dream, you are always safe, but if you are not ready, you will not win the spiritual fight. If you are not fully prepared, it will be a very frightening, intimidating, and emotionally very disturbing experience. I looked up the definition of psychically, and the definition is as follows. Relating to the human soul or mind. Mental as opposed to physical. Pertaining to mental phenomena outside of natural or scientific knowledge. Spiritual or relating to some apparently non-physical force. Psychic phenomenon. It's a real thing. I can assure you that usually visitation dreams are real. I had dreams with people other than narcissists, and I know without a doubt that the other person was there as well. So yes, narcs do show up in your dreams to continue the abuse and the battles. In these dreams, in the battles with the narcissist, they come with no real strength. It is a fight from their weakness. They are coming from evil. So know that you can beat this. In these dreams, psychically, both you and the narcissist will know. Mentally, who is more prepared and what is what. Because in dreams, it is an all-knowing environment. My narcissistic ex came to visit me after more than 10 years. He was sitting in a car on the driver's side and I was in the car sitting next to him. It was like everything was the same again. We just fell into how we always were. He didn't ask me anything and I didn't ask him anything. But I knew he was hiding something all I wanted to know is why did he come see me in my dreams. We didn't talk not one word, but everything was the same. Later when I looked, he was gone and I saw he left something behind. It was my driver's license. Dream interpretation, a driver license represents control a sense of freedom or independence to make decisions. But I knew what it meant. In this relationship, I psychically knew when he was sick, even when he was across the country. Narcissists are tethered to you, like a parent-child relationship. If you think about it like that, it's understandable. So narcissists do come in your dreams to fight with you as well, to do battle. If you've had these experiences, please comment below. I'm interested in finding out how you handled the narcissist haunting you in your dreams. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe.